there everyone, welcome to Dream of Tunes. I'm Luke and today we're going to be looking at the gloomy black knight on the myth behind the monsters. The black knight first appeared on What a Night for a Night, the very first episode of Scooby Doo Where Are You in 1969. In the episode, The Legend of the Black Knight states that the armour will come to life when there is a full moon. After finding the armour on the side of the road, the gang return the suit to the museum and decide to investigate. Alright, spoiler alert for a 50 year old episode. It turns out the museum curator, Mr Wickles, made up the legend of the armour coming to life to hide the fact that he was creating fake paintings and replacing the real ones in the museum. The Black Knight in the episode is a suit of a medieval knight's armour that is said to come to life whenever the moon is full. When adapted in Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed, the armour is made black and he's retitled to the Black Knight Ghost. The Black Knight Ghost implying that the reason the suit has come to life is because it is the ghost of the person that wore the armour. Also, the monster roars. Ah. Now this is the part where I remind you to like the video, it really helps out the channel and allows us to keep bringing more myths to you. And if you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified the next time there's a monster on the loose. Ooh. So, was there a Black Knight? Well, sort of. Throughout history there have been various Black Knights. Edward of Woodstock, son of King Edward III, who fought in the Hundred Years' War, commonly known as the Black Prince, possibly due to the use of wearing black armour, or at the very least, his black shield. James Stewart was known as the Black Knight of Lorne. Sir Wies Gazzani was known as the Black Knight, as well as the First Knight of Europe, a Polish knight who fought in the Battle of Grunwald and is known for his black armour. The Irish Knights of Gwyn also went by the name the Black Knight, the last of whom died in 2011. Much closer to home, Sir Ralph de Ashton was said to be a cruel tyrant over the town of Ashton on the line, where he was said to be seen riding around on his black horse. He was commonly known as the Black Knight, and his death was celebrated on Easter Monday for years in a ceremony known as the Riding of the Black Lad, or the Black Knight Pageant. Leonardo da Vinci at the very least created plans, if not built, a robot out of a suit of armour in 1495. So, why did the team behind Scooby-Doo Where Are You decide to use the Black Knight as the very first monster that Scooby-Doo would ever face? The Black Knight is a stock character appearing in lots of medieval fiction, particularly that involving the Arthurian legend. A notable depiction is in, in the famous Le Mort de Arthur Carnus, and his name was the Knight of Black Lond. Then the damsel, when she saw that knight, she bade him flee down that valley, for his horse was not saddled. Gramercy, said Baumins, for always you would have me a coward. With that the Black Knight, when she came nigh him, spake and said, Damsel, have ye brought this knight of King Arthur to be your champion? Nay, fair knight, she said. This is but a kitchen knave that was fed in King Arthur's kitchens for arms. Why cometh he, said the knight, in such array? It is shame that he bereaved your company. A black knight is also seen in Idols of the King by Lord Tennyson. In Marvel Comics, Sir Percy of Scandinavia is the black knight of King Arthur's court. His descendant, Nathan Garrett, would go on to become an Avenger villain. And Garrett's nephew, Dame Whitman, will go on to take the mantle of the Black Knight, becoming an Avenger himself. In fact, it's this third Black Knight that Kit Harrington will be portraying in next year's Marvel's The Eternals. But of course, most notably, in 1954, there was a film called The Black Knight, starring Alan Ladd. Suits coming to life has also been a trope found in fiction for years. Some examples can be found in Three Hearts and Three Lines by Paul Anderson. The Silver Chair in C.S. Lewis's The Chronicles of Narnia. Bed Knobs and Broomsticks by Mary Norton. Thanks for watching this week's The Myth Behind the Monsters. Tune in next week when we take a look at Captain Cutler's ghost. So what do you think about the Black Knight? Let us know down below. 
I for one found it interesting that Leonardo da Vinci brought suits to life in the 15th century. Tubular. Thanks for watching Tube of Tunes. If you want more from the channel, hit subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with what's going on, follow us on our socials. Hope you liked it. Cheers.